What's going on you guys, Claire? Welcome back to the channel Cook Commerce. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a pretty cool React package I found called Embla Carousel. And basically it's just a lightweight uh, library you can install in React, or not just React, but also Next.js, uh, Views, Felt, and some others as well. And it's just a carousel, um, a carousel library you can install. And this is what I have right here, if I refresh. You can see it just kind of scrolls through on a timer here. So this is the first image and it automatically scrolls to the next. Uh, we can also kind of scroll through manually as well and there's lots of cool other like functionalities you can add so if you're going to see how you can add this to your own react project maybe a resume for example or some work for a client then let's go ahead and get started so um just go to embla-carousel.com that's their website and what i'm going to do is i'm in vs code i'm going to open this up and what i'm going to do is go ahead and create a brand new uh, react app using create react app so i'm going to move over to my desktop here and then let's go ahead and create our react application npx create dash react dash app and i'm going to call this we'll call it embla project like so so let's go ahead and inst uh, create our react application here all right so happy hacking that means we're ready to go i'm going to go ahead and pull over my folder here that we just created just the embla dash project okay all right and okay so Let's go over to the website. You should have it pulled up by now, embla-carousel.com. And what we're gonna do here is, let's go ahead and click on the menu. And under Get Started, as you can see, React, Views, Felt, TypeScript. Um, you can use a CDN as well. We're just gonna be installing uh, lo locally into our project here. So go ahead and click on React. And what we need to do is just install the package here. So let's make sure we copy that. And let's open this up. And let's just go ahead and install the React Carousel here. Should be just a second. And I'm just gonna delete a couple of these things here um, that we're not gonna be using. So let's go ahead and get rid of a couple of these. Um, oops. There we go. All right, I switched between all these keyboards, it gets confusing. All right, so let's get rid of those there. Uh, the app.test, we can go ahead and get rid of that. Looks like we're done installing. Um, looks like we're done installing the carousel. So let's go ahead and just npm start real quick just start on 3001 i already have the demo running so let's see we'll say local 3001 and probably get some errors since we just deleted a few things so let me go ahead and take care of that okay so let's go into our app.js and you don't have to um you don't have to delete this stuff i was just doing it to save a little bit of time here um so let's go ahead and delete everything inside of this header and we'll just import react from react there we go and report web vitals let's go into our index.js we'll just get rid of that there okay so you can go ahead and close the index.js we don't need to use that anymore but that should clear up all of our errors there so let's go back and we can go ahead and stop the server let's go ahead and go back to embla carousel so we just installed the, the React package. So next, what we want to do is let's create our component structure, right? So let's go ahead and copy this here. Now, um, we're gonna do this inside of our source folder and let's just stick to good practice and put this inside of a components folder. So what I'm gonna say is components slash Embla carousel is gonna be the name of our component. And what that's gonna do is just create a component inside of the components folder that we just created. And let's just go ahead and paste that one in there like so perfect now um next what, what do we want to do here let's go into our uh, app.js and we're just going to um, paste our component in there so it's going to be the embla carousel just like so and we want to import this embla carousel from components flash Embla carousel. All right. Now let's go ahead and start our server. Just kind of see what we have on the screen. Now we're not going to be able to see anything quite just yet, but there we go. Oh, what happened? There we go. Moving these things around. All right, three thousand one is where we want to go. Yes. And let's see here. So next we need to add the CSS, okay? So let's go ahead and add the CSS. So all we have here is a blank screen for right now. Close that. 
you can see our slides in there okay and you can actually see we're actually we're able to move the slides that's because we've installed the package and we have our we have our code in here we just have text in there instead of images so you know what let's go first let's just go ahead and use some images and what i'm going to do is just copy over some images we're going to be grabbing these from unsplash um you can use locally if you'd like to do that as well um, either way is just fine so i'm going to paste my first image in there just like that there we go and i'm going to grab my second image here's my second one in here it's going to just go over this slide too and i'm going to grab my third image so only three images you can have as many as you like uh to my knowledge i don't think there's there's a limit here within embla carousel so there we have it so as you can see they're just massive here let's take care of this some css next um so let's head back over to the i'm going to go ahead and close the demo there let's go ahead and head back over here and copy over this css and i'm just going to put this inside of let's put this inside of our we'll do index.css doesn't really matter let's put it inside our index.css so let's go ahead and paste that in there just like that and um those the images is super it's it's massive image right now as you can see uh, let's go ahead and give it just one more uh, additional styling in here and um, what i'm going to do is so if we look at our carousel here we look at our carousel so we have the Embla class name uh, for the outer div then we have a container and then we have a slide and each slide is what we want to style right so that Embla slide we're going to style the image within that so let's go in here and what i'm going to say is Embla Embla slide that has it for us there img I'm just going to set the width to 100%. There we go. All right, switch this over. There we go. So let's see what that did. Oh, there we go. Looks better already. Um, let's go ahead and refresh this and see if it's doing anything. Probably not yet. I mean, so that's uh, that's basically it. We can have a slider in there. But let's add some extra functionality. Um, because right now it's not scrolling through on its own. If you notice, we refresh. We want this to just automatically scroll. So let's go back to the Embla carousel site here. And we just took care of the styling. So let's go down here to accessing the Embla carousel. And as you can see here, we have options here. So let's go ahead and let's see, adding plugins. Let's add this autoplay here. So what I'm going to do is just copy this over, import this, and I'm going to add this into our Embla carousel um, component here. So Let's just add this right here. We have to import that. And I'm going to copy this over. Just going to replace this here just to make it easy. Paste that in there like so. And right now, oh, can't resolve. Embla Carousel Autoplay. So I think we're going to have to install this. So let's head over to this plugins here. Click on Autoplay. Yep, just got to install it. So let's do that super quick. Stop the server and install super fast. Again, you can also use a CDN if you prefer. I'm just installing it to the to our our package here. So I'm gonna say npm start, and let's see if that takes care of anything. Yes, we're gonna be on 3001. So this should now be on autoplay. So you see here, I'm gonna take my hands off, and hopefully, if we don't have any errors, this should autoplay. Um, and let's see. Up oh, there, it is. Cool, cool, awesome. So that's the basic functionality of Embla. Uh, if we go back over to the Embla Carousel website to look at the documentation, uh, you can do lots of customizations. For example, um, here, let's do this one. Let's uh, let, well, let's do delay. Let's do the uh, the loop. So let's go back here right now. And so as you can see, we're kind of stuck here. You can scroll to one side. We only have three images, but we're stuck after three. So we can just change this loop here. Start, whoa, change, change that to true. And now we should be able to kind of loop through all of our images. So let's just look again. Might need a refresh. Oh, there you go. Let's refresh this thing. So loop true. We should get back to our first image. There you go. Awesome. So yeah, lots of customization. You can do this. You look into it and um, play around with it. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching the video, you guys. Smash the like button and I'll see you on the next one.